today we are creating a trend because we are tuning some Kinetics 5700 servo drives and motors. So this video is just to help you create a simple trend and here we go. So the first thing we have to do is in the ax in the motion groups we have to go down to our axis and this one it's the assembly rolls we can just double click on there and go into the properties and over here on the left hand side we have to go to drive parameters so we actually have to pick a little checkbox for each of the parameters that we want it to read each cycle because otherwise it will not work so what we're starting off with um, and if we first one we're going to do is velocity feedback. We're going to give that a little check. Velocity air. Give that a little check. Um, let's scroll down here. There's torque reference. That's going to be a third one. We can do up to six. And so we're going to do all six. And so now we need current command and current feedback and then last but not least we need position error did I pass it? I might have passed it already I think I passed it oh let's see here oh yeah I passed it way up here <clears throat> okay so then we go ahead and apply. Okay. Now over here in our organizer, we have the little folder called trends. We're going to right click. We're going to do a new trend. So you can call this axis one, whatever you want the trend to be. I'm calling it assembly rolls. Because that's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and take this sample period down to 2 milliseconds. Make sure that we're getting everything that we want to see. Hit the next button. And so this is going to be your scope. So this is all controller tags. So now we can hit the drop down and you can go find your tags. Um, we know that it's a SIP drive. So we can actually just start with that. But we know everything's going to be assembly, underscore rolls, and then dot. And we'll just start with velocity and then it gets you pretty close there so then you can just drop down there's feedback go ahead and add we can probably just back that up velocity and if we type air there it is add and then back that all the way up we're going to do torque reference Torque reference, add, back that up. We're going to do current command, add, get rid of that command, and start typing feedback, add, and then last but not least, position. Oops, no space. Position error. Add. And go ahead and hit finish. And apparently you can't have an underscore under there. Oh, I had two underscores. Aha. So let's make sure all everybody's there. Go ahead and finish. Okay. So now, over here on the left, you can see we have everybody by the pins. So over here in the black, anywhere in the black, we're going to right click, chart properties. We're going to go ahead and look at our pens. So uh, most of these colors are pretty good. You might play with the colors just to, uh, uh, you know, that some of them are harder to see. So moving forward from that, let's go to the x-axis tab. Um, time span, I mean, you can put that whatever. However, you however wide you want your screen to be, we're just I'm just going to go 10 seconds. Um, that'll that'll work. We'll go to y-axis. So now we're going to do a custom, 
and so rather than so we're gonna have some values that go negative and so we're gonna take that because um, torque reference we can go negative or positive so we're just gonna start off with uh, we'll go on negative 300 and we'll go to a positive 300 I don't think we'll go within that, but that'll bring our scaling down quite a bit. Um, and then our sampling. So our sample period's already at 2 milliseconds, so we're pretty good right here. So we can go ahead and hit OK. Now we can run the trend, and we can watch this stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not hooked up to a demo, so I can demonstrate this, but um, this will give you a good start to start getting some data so you can tune the machine a lot better. Alright, thanks for watching.